In this video, I compare the Juve Solo 3.0 with the Mito Red Light Mito Pro 1500. Hey guys, Alex here from alexvegas.com and yes, I have two very popular red light therapy body panels. Uh, the smaller one, as you can see behind me, is the Juve Solo 3.0 and the larger one, the Mito Red Mito Pro 1500. Now, I decided I'd do a head-to-head -head between these panels uh, mainly because the Juve is very well known, it is a very popular uh, red light therapy panel. Whereas the Mito Red Pro is less than known, however, over, la over the last few years, it is quickly becoming uh, quite mainstream, mainly because it is such a great panel, not only from a features point of view, but also from a price and value point of view. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna compare these panels uh, head to head, and we're gonna decide which panel is better for each of those categories. And then of course, at the end, do an overall winner. Now, if you have followed my work and watched a lot of my videos, you may already have a hunch as to which panel is gonna come out number one, uh, because I have used these panels in my 2021 body panel comparison series. I'll put a link to that below. That's where I uh, compared, I think it was 12 panels, including both of these, uh, and we came up with a winner. So um, if you have seen that, yeah, like I said, you may already know or be able to guess the outcome of this head-to-head -head series. If you haven't, I highly recommend checking that out in your, uh, later on or, or go and watch it now if you want to. But this video is gonna be focused just at these two panels. So if you're, if you're in the market for a red light therapy panel and you've heard good things about the Juve, but you wanna see what, what other options are out there, this is for you. All right, stay tuned. All right, so first things first, let's compare the power output, also known as a radiance. Now, I'm gonna share two figures with you. The peak reading, the peak power reading that I tested with my spectrometer, this is for six inches, and also the total watts, total wattage output of light. Now this is going to be, uh, again, tested at six inches and across the whole panel, okay? Now, for the Juve, we had a peak power of 74 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Remember, the higher the value, the better. And we had a total wattage figure of 85 watts. Now, to compare this with the, the larger Mito Red over here, the Mito Red Pro came out with a peak power of 88 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Remember, the Juve was 74, and a total wattage output of 136 watts. So it's clear, both of those numbers, uh, the Mito Red Mito Pro is the better panel. Uh, it is a larger panel, and as we'll soon find out, it also has a lot more LEDs. So, for this round, the Mito Red Mito Pro gets one point. Next up, we're gonna look at the wavelengths that these panels emit. Now, the Juve Solo just uses two wavelengths, your standard 660 nanometers, which is your red light, and then your 850 nanometer near infrared light. These wavelengths are tried and tested. They've been around for many years, utilized for many years. I know when I first entered the red light therapy space many, many years ago with a first generation Juve, uh, in fact, those two wavelengths were all I used and I had amazing results. We know that work, the science is solid on it, but there's also a ton of science now showing that other wavelengths are just as effective, if not more effective for, for specific uh, healing traits. So. When we look at the Mito Red Mito Pro, we learn that they have tapped into some of these what I call alternative wavelengths. They use four wavelengths in this panel. They use 630 nanometer light, 660, 830, and 850. So you've got your 660 and the 850 that the Juve have, but you've also got two other wavelengths. Now Juve split their light equally 50% between the red and the infrared. The Mito Red guys split the wavelengths equally as well. So 25% go into your 630, 25 to 660, et cetera. So given the Mito Red has four wavelengths incorporating what I call multi-wave technology and the Juve Solo only has two wavelengths, I have to give this round to the Mito Red. So after two rounds, we have the Mito Red at two and the Juve on zero. Okay, so for round three, we're looking at size. In particular, we're looking at the amount of LEDs in the panel. Now. You'll already be able to notice that the Juve Solo is a smaller panel, but it's kind of deceiving. If you come in close, you'll see that the space between the LEDs, it's, there's quite a, quite a lot of distance between the LEDs. There's quite a lot of white space there, right? When we come across to the Mito Red, we see that the LEDs are actually quite condensed. So not only is the Mito Red Mito Pro a larger panel, physically larger, but it actually has a lot more LEDs packed in there as well. So the Juve Solo has 150 LEDs. The Mito Red Mito Pro has 300 LEDs. 
And again, that's because they're compressed in a lot more, which also relates to why we saw the, the uh, higher power output figures in that first round. So for this round, for the size and LED count, Mitre Red's on a roll here. They take out the point for this round as well. All right, so round four, we're looking at pulsing technology. Now, before I get into the comparison, a quick word on pulsing. Uh, it is relatively new to the space. We, we, I think there were two panels in my 2021 comparison series that utilize pulsing. Uh, some people say it's a fad, some people say it's a game changer. I still don't know. Uh, there is some science to show it's effective, but it's not solid yet. So I don't really know. But the fact that it is an option out there, some people like it. And I want to uh, reward the panels and the companies that to provide that option. So in this case, we have the Juve Solo that does offer a pulsing technology. Now you should know that that pulsing technology feature is only available at 10 Hertz. You can't change the frequency and it's only pulsing the near infrared light. So if you want pulsed red light or if you want a uh, hundred Hertz pulsing or anything like that, you can't do that with the Juve. The only panel that offers such features is the light path LED pulsed panel. But in this instance, we have the Juve offering a rather basic, but it's still available, pulsing feature with the near infrared light. The Mito Red Mito Pro does not offer any pulsing whatsoever. So for this round, Juve gets on the board and takes the cake here. All right, now for quite a big comparison round, and this is price. So you would think maybe so far, given the Juve is smaller with less LEDs and less power and less warranty, you'd think that it would be on par or even cheaper than the Mito Red. Unfortunately, that's not the case. The Juve comes out to be $1,499. Now that's before taxes and before shipping, and there's no discount that I can provide on that price either. So 1,500 bucks plus your taxes. Now taxes, I check for uh, Texas and California, looking at it about $120, $130. So that brings it up to about 1,600 bucks, big bickies. Over here, the Mito Red Mito Pro is a lot cheaper. It comes in at a retail price of $1,149. Now that's including taxes. Even better, I have a discount code. The discount code is Alex, A-L-E-X. It will save you 5% on the Mito Red Mito Pro panel. So that brings the price down to $1,092 US dollars. That's inclusive of taxes. So remember, we have the Juve, about $1,600, including taxes. We have the Mito Red Mito Pro, $1,092, including taxes after the discount code Alex. So that's like a $500 price difference. It's a huge difference. So there's a clear winner here with the Mito Red Mito Pro. All right, next up, we look at shipping. Now, Juve, to ship this panel to uh, somewhere in California or Texas, for instance, you'll pay $39 US dollars. Mito Red, to ship it to those same addresses, you'll pay nothing because Mito Red offer free America-wide shipping. Juve, you have to pay depending on the location. It, it does vary. And um, yeah, like I said, those two quotes I got were about $30, $40. When you look internationally, both companies ship internationally, but the shipping obviously does jump up. I, I didn't check prices for that because um, I've already covered it in my standalone reviews for these panels, which by the way, I have reviewed this panel and this one in dedicated videos. So if you are super serious about buying one of these, go check out those uh, dedicated reviews as well. The shipping winner here is the Mito Red. All right, now we look at operation. So how easy is it to operate these panels? So far in all the rounds I've done in this video, it's been very easy to determine which panel is the winner, which one has the higher power output, which warranty is longer, etc. When it comes to Operation, you kind of have to take my word here because it is a little bit subjective, but I have used both of these panels and many red light therapy panels over the years. So you're just gonna have to put my put your trust in me here. So first things first, the Juve, the Juve panel, the control panel, I should say, is actually really, really nice. I like it. The buttons are simple to press. There's nice tactile feedback. You know, there's a, there's a movement of the button. Uh, there's little LEDs that glow telling you whether that, that feature is on or off. The icons on the, um, Buttons are rather self-explanatory. You don't need a chicken manual or anything like that. There's a little timer up here that counts down. It's, it does everything. It's simple, but it, it works, right? And it's rather easy to pick up and figure out. 
I mean, the first time, if you're new to red light therapy, the first time you may be cross-checking the manual to see what some of these buttons do and, and what you need to know. But after that, you're, you're away flying. Now, Juve actually have some advanced features in this panel. The only way to access these features though is to use the Juve app. Now, it's great that Juve have these advanced features such as um, beep at halfway, uh, dimming, the dimming ability, all those sort of cool things. What I don't like though is the fact you need to use your app. You need to create an account with Juve, log in, sync it all, do all that jazz. I kind of wish there were just a few more buttons on there and you can access it all through the panel. However, those features are pretty neat because not many companies, if any, offer such features. So again, that is pretty good uh, that Juve do incorporate such features. The Mito Red Mito Pro, on the other hand, is, let's just say it's very basic. I mean, it's some may think that's a really bad thing, but it's not. Uh, I, I, I shy away from panels that have very complex control systems. Uh, the light path LED that I tested a, a year or two ago was one such example. So it's not necessarily bad that it's so basic, but um, it's not as nice as the Juve. The buttons are, you know, everything's a little, let's say cheaper than the Juve. Plus you don't have those advanced features that the Juve has as well. On the upside though, you can do it all through here and it is very easy to use. There's no apps, there's no account syncing or anything like that. So I have to come up with a winner here. Um, and I think I'm going to award it to Juve. If you forget about the app and all those advanced features, the Juve does have a nicer control panel than the Mito Red. So for that reason alone, I think it's, it's the, the winner for the operation round. Plus the Juve does have those advanced features if you do want to tap into them. That's not even an option with the Mito Red. So Juve gets the point here. In this round, I look at what's included with your purchase price, what comes in the box. With the Juve, you get quite a few goodies. Firstly, you get uh, a boot or floor stand. The panel just slots into that, allowing you to uh, move the panel around, you know, use it in the middle of the, of the bedroom or against the wall, whatever you may, wherever you may decide to put it. It also comes with some really neat goggles, some, some eyewear. Now these are not your typical red light therapy goggles that are, you know, sun tanning goggles. These ones are green lenses, which enable you to still read a book or use your phone and move around the house, for instance, but block a lot of the red light um, from hitting the eyes. So some people, uh, personally, I don't really use goggles or anything like that. I just don't look directly at the lights, but other people do. So these goggles are, are, are really neat. Mito Red just comes with all the basic stuff. You get your cables, you get your little adapters so you can hang it from the wall. You get a pulley system so you can hang it from a hook like I have here on the wall and raise and lower the height, which to be honest, is kind of neat because you can't do that with the Juve, you've actually got to buy extra accessories. Uh, the goggles on the other hand though, are your standard sort of goggles, nothing fancy there. Um, one could argue that the pulley system and the clips is a better, is, a, is more important to have than the floor boot stand that the Juve comes with. However, I think I have to award Juve the, the points for this round. The goggles plus the, the floor stand, plus it's easier to move around. Firstly, it's quite light compared to the Mito red panel. This is a plastic uh, case, whereas this one's a metal. Uh, and it's got some nice handholds in the back and the sides as well. So it does make ease of use and ease of setup quite easy. So I'm giving Juve the points here. Okay, we have two more rounds to go. In this round, I'm looking at the EMF readings. Now, I have used my Cornet electrosmog meter to test the EMF levels, both electric, magnetic, and uh, microwave. And I've tested these panels at various distances. I've done that in my comprehensive review. I've published all the data in a spreadsheet, which I'll link to below as well. Both of them were really good from a magnetic point of view. So that's great. It's only when you get up to a couple inches from the panel that you're starting to get a reading. So that's good, that's, that's important. Unfortunately, when it comes to electric readings, the Juve was really, really bad. In fact, it was shocking and it kind of, it surprised me, but I soon found out why. It doesn't use a grounding plug in the PowerPoint here, so you're getting a high electric reading, which means you don't really want to be hanging around too close to this panel for extended periods of time. It's just adding a lot of stress to the body. The Mito Red doesn't have that problem, so that is great. Also, I should mention that the Juve does utilize uh, Bluetooth for the phone syncing on and all that. So there is a bit of a microwave reading as well, which again, the Mito Red doesn't have. So for this round, it's simple. The Mito Red Mito Pro 1500 is the winner for the EMF round. All right, and finally, the last round, we look at noise. Now, 
And you may think, what's noise got to do with this? But if you're standing next to this panel 20 minutes a day, five, six times a week, you don't want something that irritates you or you feel like you've got to put your mask on. Unfortunately, that kind of happens with the Juve. Uh, I don't know why they've changed something in the design. It's got, it's only got two fans, but it's quite loud. In fact, it has a reading of 62 decibels at six inches. To put this in perspective, the Mito Red Mito Pro has a reading of 52 decibels. Still a lot of sound, but it's a lot less. Should also note that the type of sound is quite different. The Juve has this like really piercing whir. Honestly, it, it really grates me. The Mito Red is more of a background fan noise, you know, white noise sort of sa sound that most of these panels have. Um, it's hard to explain, but if you've used the Juve before, you'll know exactly what I mean. You turn it on, you think, oh, that's kind of loud. After a few minutes of using it, you think, this is ridiculous. I wish I could turn it down. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. And for that reason, the Mito Red takes out this round. And there is a clear winner, and that is the Mito Red Mito Pro 1500. Now, if you have watched my 2021 body panel comparison review, you would know that the Mito Red panel actually took out number one spot. The Juve was about seventh or so, mid-pack I think it was. So like I said, if you had seen that, it would be clear uh, who was gonna win in this video. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen that video, yeah, I highly recommend checking it out, especially if you are looking at a red light therapy panel. But if you've come here, thinking you're gonna buy a Juve and now you've watched this and you think, hey, well, should I get a Mito Red? Then yeah, I mean, my answer has to be yes. Now, I should mention, I am affiliated with Mito Red. Uh, if you use discount code Alex, you save 5% and I get a bit of a commission which helps me produce videos like this. I'm not affiliated with Juve. Um, I used to be, but not anymore. Now, you may be thinking, oh, well, that's why Mito Red came out on top, and of course not. If you go through all these things I just compared them, you go on the product websites, you check out other reviews, it's clear that the Mito Red panel is the better panel. Like I said, it's got more power, it's got less EMF, shipping's cheaper, or free in some cases, um, there's less noise, there's more LEDs, there's more wavelengths. I mean, it's, it's pretty clear, isn't it? And that's what I wanted to say with my summary. The Mito Red panel is a larger panel, it has more LEDs, it has a larger treatment area, it utilizes four wavelengths instead of two. Those LEDs are putting out more power than the Juve LEDs. There's less noise, there's less EMF concerns. It does everything you'd expect the red light therapy panel to do. And it's cheaper, plus you get free shipping if you're in the States. Oh, I should mention as well, you also get a longer warranty period with the Mito Red Pro. So, like I said, it's not that I'm taking favorites or anything like that. I just look at the numbers. I use these panels, I test them, I compare them. The Mito Red panel is a better panel than the Juve Solo. I'm not saying the Juve Solo is a bad panel. I'm saying the Mito Red Mito Pro is a lot better compared to the Juve. Simple as that. Would I use the Juve? Well, I did. I used it for a couple of weeks when I was testing it for my review. Um, the funny thing is though, because of the EMF concerns and also that loud noise, I really didn't like using this panel. However, the previous Juve Solos, you know, their first and second generation panel, I had exceptional results with them and um, the technology works. We know that the panels work. It's just a bit of a bummer that this new panel has those EMF and noise concerns. However, it's easy to address that and just check out another panel such as the Mito Red Mito Pro. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, and you wanna see more comparisons like this, be sure to hit subscribe. I've actually done a few other videos like this. I've compared the Juve to the Biomax 900. I've compared the Mito Red Mito Pro to the Biomax panels. And like I said, a few times now, I've done that rather extensive uh, body panel comparison where I compared 12 panels. So check all them out. If you do have any questions about these panels or any other red light therapy panels, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer uh, and help you out however I can. Otherwise, hit like, Hit subscribe and um, we'll talk again another day. All right, guys, bye.